Hello, this is a short tutorial on how to fork a repository on GitHub. So I'm here at my um, one of my favorite plugins for Vim, uh, the Vim Rails plugin by Tim Pope. Uh, and so here uh, we're going to fork it um, and make a change to our own repository and also explain the difference between um, why we can't make changes on Tim Pope's uh, repository. So to fork this we visit the page and we hit fork and I want to fork it to me so I am forking it now. Most of you won't have that step. Uh, then now it takes me to my page. I know that I'm on the fork page because I can see forked from T Pope uh, Vim Rails there. So this, um, this is the URL that I want to use to clone from. If we go back, we can do uh, GitHub and we can um, Rails Vim. And again, here's, um, here's Tim Pope's. I don't see that there and he has a different uh, a different URL. So let's clone ours. I'm going to use SSH so all my permissions will go through. Good. Just paste that right in there. And um, now if I look here I can see and I can go into Vim Rails uh, and then say for instance uh, let's see here I could change this this is my own personal copy of this so I'm going to save it with an exclamation point get status get commit push that back up to my master. Now when I'm on this page, I can refresh and there's an exclamation point. Tim's does not have an exclamation point. <clears throat> now if I were to go to Tim's repository, I'm going to name it Tim Vim Rails. That's a uh, way you can name the directory it's going to go into. Basically, essentially where you want it to go. So now we have two copies. I cd into Tim Vim Rails and Tim. And if I do that, I do not have permission to push to uh, Tim Pope's repository. So um, once again, in order to clone, you just hit fork and it will take you over to your personal copy with your username, um, same repository name, and it'll tell you it's for forked uh, and then clone it with the URL, uh, URL on your page. That's it.